The Vampire Secret and AI Young Adult Novel Chapter 2, Emma and the Gang It's been a few weeks since I discovered my true identity, and I'm starting to get the hang of things. I've learned how to control my thirst, how to use my powers without drawing too much attention to myself. It's not easy, but I'm managing. I'm still trying to figure out how to fit in at my new high school. It's not easy being the new kid, especially when you're trying to hide a big secret. But I'm determined to make it work. I don't want to be an outcast forever. One day, I'm sitting in the courtyard during lunch, trying to blend in with the crowds of students milling around. I'm just about to take a bite of my sandwich when I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around, expecting to see one of my classmates, but instead, I'm faced with a group of unfamiliar faces. There are four of them, all teenagers like me. And they're all vampires. I'm in shock. I had no idea there were others like me out there. And they seem to know who I am. Lily, right? One of them says. We've been looking for you. My name is Emma, and these are my friends, Jake, Mia, and Alex. I'm too stunned to speak. How do they know my name? How did they find me? Emma must sense my confusion, because she continues, We're like you, Lily. We're vampires. And we've been looking for others like us, so we can stick together and figure out how to navigate this new world. I'm still in shock, but something about Emma's words resonates with me. I've been so alone, trying to figure everything out on my own. Maybe it's time to accept some help. Okay, I say hesitantly. I'll join you. But only if you promise to answer some of my questions. Emma smiles. Of course. We'll help each other out. That's what being part of a community is all about. And with that, I join their group. I don't know what the future holds, but for the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs>